Welcome to React Select with Fermic tutorial. My name is Masood and I'm gonna be your instructor. What is React Select? It's a flexible and beautiful select input control for React.js. It's been used for making select input controls in React and it's so powerful and easy to use. If you don't know anything about React Select, I suggest you first watch another video of mine from the top link which is about React Select and how to install it and then continue this video. Okay, what is Formic? Formic is also the world's most popular open source form library for React and React Native. It will help you to build firms in React with ease and faster. Okay, what we are gonna do in this tutorial? I'm gonna show you how to connect React Select and Formic together. So, what is what should you know before watching this video? basics of react and react hooks so let's start okay first of all i need to install both libraries using yarn yarn add for make and then yarn add react select okay so inside my project inside my app.js file i just have a register form component and it's empty i just have a text and if i want to show you yeah it's my project so we are going to use these two lovely libraries to build a fantastic form in react the first thing that we need to do is to import formic library so import use formic because I'm using Formic version 2, I'm going to use the hook of Formic. And from Formic. And here, I'm going to initiate my Formic using const Formic equals to use Formic. And then I should specify the configuration inside this object. First of all, I want to set initial values. So initial values. And here I should specify every input element that I have since I haven't created them yet. So let's leave it empty for now. And also I want to have another function here on submit. And it's gonna be another function. And inside this, we can do a console log value actually when we press the for example register button formic will collect every inputs data and will run this unsubmit function for me and will pass all the values inside the value variable so we can send it to our server if you want to post data okay let's build our firm I'm gonna use this formic object here let me show you I'm gonna create a form object sorry form element and I should specify submit on submit it should be formic dot handle submit that's so easy we just connected this function to our unsubmit event of our form and inside my form I'm gonna have one input and let's add a label before it to be better label HTML for should be actually the ID of my input so it's gonna be email and email address so i have to use same uh, keyword here which is email and when you use formic you should specify the id and name property of your input and then formic will know your input with this name i'm gonna explain it later and type of my input can be email also lots of emails here 
and what else do we need we need unchange function for our input so here instead of manually handling unchanged event of this input we're gonna use formic so formic dot handle change yes and what else do we need yeah the value property so we can read the value of our current input using formic values and then the name of uh, our input which is email so if we had for example x here we have to use x so email and yeah that's it and here we can specify initial values as i said so email is gonna be test at sign gmail.com let's just see yeah you can see i have my input element and the initial value is set and i can change the value as well let's just add a class name to it should be input because i have written it before here yeah input to be better yeah it looks fine now and let's go for validation part of formic so to do this i need to create a function which takes values of every input that we have and then returns another object which contains the errors so if we don't return anything it means that we don't have any error so let me show you const validate and it's gonna as i said takes values as input and then we're gonna have another object errors should be empty at first and then we can check if values for example if we didn't have values that email so we can set errors dot email again and we can set set a message email is required that's so easy and then we just need to return this errors object and what else do we need to do we need to connect this function to our formic so we can easily paste it here so let's just try it oh we don't have any submit button <laughs> let me add it button type should be submit because we want to submit the form when the user clicks on it let's name it register and test it yeah so if i make it empty and click on the register i will get error but it doesn't show because i forgot to write this section i'm gonna have a div and let's set the class name for it maybe error and inside it i just want to print for errors dot email and we also can check if we had this error then render this div for me so for dot errors dot email so if we had this render this div for me otherwise render nothing so yeah you can see this error message and it works let's go for the react select part i can add my react select input here but let's make it better and create another component for it and put it inside that component which i created custom select component which is empty now the first thing that i need to do is to accept some props for example on change options and value and class name 
we are gonna use these items inside our select and then i need to import my select from react select library react select and then inside the return function i'm gonna have a wrapper so my div and the class name should be exactly what we got from props and inside it it's time to use our select and we should specify the value prop on change and finally options which we should provide all the selectable options using this prop and then yeah that's it so let's get back to our main file and create a label for it for example i'm gonna name it job and then let's create some options here for my job select input yeah here it is my options array which has three items in it and we should use this structure for react select we should have one array inside it we should have several objects and each object should have one value and one label and it's mandatory so once we added these items we can pass these options to our let's move it outside my component we could use them inside state but there is no reason for this one so let's call our custom select and options should be options and we just need to get options and set it for here and for the value we need to do this in this way i'm gonna create another function default value because i'm gonna use forming so i need to write this peer processor options and value and then inside it i'm gonna return first check if we have any options then do options that find just find the element that option option dot value equals to the value otherwise the thing nothing i actually want to use this default function for here and pass options and value since we are going to use uh, formic and formic just provides us a text for the select input for example it will provide us a developer and for react select we cannot pass this string here we need to uh, pass the object for example this object or this one which is selected so we first find the item which the value is same as the selected value in the formic and then after we find it we just return it and set it to the select value property let's go for the unchange in the unchange i will get the value and inside my arrow function i'm gonna just call unchange function which we got it from the prop and so easy just pass the value and that's it okay let's get back to our register form the first thing that we need to do is to add our input name here which is job and i'm gonna set the default value to for example painter remember that you should specify the value not the label and for the default option should be painter we also need to set some props for our custom select the first thing is value which should be 
the same as what we which should be the same as what we did for this one so for make dot values dot job we actually didn't use the name property for react select which i tried but it didn't work for me so i i'm gonna use another approach for this one unchange function value and then i'm gonna use another api forming which is called set field value so directly i can specify the name of my input here which is job so instead of using name job i put it the job here and then we should specify the value so value dot value i also need to check if we have any errors so print it for make errors job again the same error and for make errors job so let's add the validation rule here if for example we didn't have values dot job errors dot job should be required and let's just add another css class to it so class name should be input so we have used class name and applied it to our div oh we have error here i need to specify null after the column yeah you can see the initial value is painter and let me just remove something the validation works we can select another elements let's just remove the initial value and check the validation it should be empty and then you can see if i click on the register button it says this input is required if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like and subscribe to my channel to get more like this hope you have a great day